So college is definitely a stressful time. Last year I made a video on time management and I just wanted to make an updated time management video for college students and architecture students, especially now considering that we're going back to in-person classes. So if you struggle with time management, I'm your girl. I love managing my time effectively and it is definitely one of my top skills. So without further ado, here are six time management hacks and tips for college students, high school students, any students out there. Trust me, I know the grind is hard and being a student, balancing a job, even like a love life and a social life and a good sleeping schedule, workout schedule, it gets crazy. I understand that, but let me tell you my secrets to effective time management. So tip number one is to actually take a step back and understand how you spend your time at the moment right now. Do you spend too much time on social media? Social media, I think, is the biggest waste of time. I know it's funny because I'm on social media. I use it as a platform to grow my brand, especially when I become a licensed architect. It's not a waste of time if you're using it to build connections and relationships. It's definitely not a waste of time too if that's how you choose to spend your free time. But in the middle finals week, it might be a good idea just to get rid of social media just for a little bit of time and really focus all of your attention on your studies. Do you get too many texts while studying as well or doing some work related stuff? Or, or, or the biggest, <laughs> the biggest joke is when you say, oh, just one more episode on Netflix once you take a study break. So definitely identify things that you tell yourself like, oh, I deserve this. If you are finding yourself in it, this constant hamster wheel cycle where you feel like you're always doing every single project up till the last possible minute because you don't know what happened to your time. This is a good exercise just to really break down and understand how you actually spend your time. Another thing to do is make a list of your goals. So understand how you spend your time now. Make long-term goals and short-term goals. Do you want to be on the Dean's list? Do you want to have a six pack and get straight A's in school? Do you want to find a good balance between your romantic life and your work life? Completely up to you here, but understand that also 24 hours is actually a really long day. Tip number two is to create a daily task list, a to-do list. I do this every single day. Now, you don't have to kill yourself and buy yourself a $40 planner on Etsy, actually. I just opened my own Etsy shop. Now, for these to-do lists, you could either use just a plain sheet of paper. If you are an aesthetic kind of person, I did make a couple planners and task lists. When it comes to tackling your to-do list on a daily basis, you have two approaches. One, you could get the big stuff out of the way, or two, you could get the small stuff out of the way. Honestly, two might be more satisfying because you get that like quick little dopamine hit once you finish these short little tasks. Doing your laundry, going for a walk, running small errands, or doing really quick reading assignments and responses. Once you start getting into the habit of checking things off your task list, you get like this kind of high. I know it's kind of nerdy, but like you get this little high that you're so ecstatic that you were able to fulfill something and kind of have a good early productive start to your day. Or you could tackle the big stuff, the stuff that you were kind of dreading and just get it out of the way. That's up to you and your personal style. I kind of fluctuate between the two. I really don't have like a preference. It just depends on my mood on the day and just understand motivation waivers, but it's your dedication and determination to being your best version of yourself that is going to get you through it. So discipline really is everything here. And also just a quick side note, if you believe you can multitask and do two tasks at once, let me tell you, it is a big lie. Multitasking is definitely a big lie. And one thing I just recommend is just for you to really focus in on one task at a time. And studies have shown you're actually more productive that way. So take a breather, take it one thing at a time and you'll be okay. My third tip for you guys is to actually actually establish a routine. This is gonna be harder in the beginning, but once you start developing a routine and a habit, it's gonna become second nature to you. Now, for instance, my mornings for me are 
so sacred. Your nightly routine might also be sacred to you and just honor that and make sure that is a, you know, phone free, electronic free kind of zone. I do really think having a break away from the screens, especially considering that everyone did online Zoom university for a full year is super important. Now, <laughs> waking up early, I do, I did used to wake up at 4 a.m. in college and I'm probably gonna go back to this. I didn't do it during COVID just because I didn't really feel the need to, but I do wanna say a lot of successful people, Michelle Obama, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, like all these people do wake up super early to get their morning routines in and their workouts done. And also, if you're a competitive person and you really want to compete <laughs> with your peers, sometimes you can use that as motivation. I do it too. You can just beat everyone while everyone else is sleeping. Completely up to you though. I found myself to be so productive because I have no distractions, social media is dead, nobody's texting me, and I can just really focus in on my work and honestly finish my day earlier than everyone else. Number four, definitely use breaks, but use them wisely, and this is what I was saying earlier about the Netflix thing, you know, sure, take a break, watch an episode. What shows are you guys watching now? Comment down below. But, 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 use them wisely. One episode, once again, this goes back to discipline and all that stuff. And it's okay too if you need to take a day off. I think students live in this, you know, illusion that we have to be grinding seven days a week. 24 hours a day, that is not the case. Take your weekend off, take your Friday night off, go out and have a drink with your best friends. Honestly, life is more than just working and please take your breaks. Now also when it comes to studying, I recommend you using a timer. The Pomodoro method is super effective and I use this all the time, especially when I'm studying for my structures exams or anything like that, that really requires intense concentration. You can't really BS it. That's why I recommend studying for 25 structures minutes taking a five minute break and take you know a longer break as you need my fifth tip for you is also learn how to delegate and also help others too when they need it the whole idea that you scratch my back I'll scratch yours so let's say you have midterm week this week and your roommate has it the following week your roommate might be able to help you in the kitchen or even do your laundry that kind of stuff for your family right and you would just do the reverse next week and really help each other out and also also, the same is true for group projects. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with group projects. I understand I will not be working solo as a licensed architect. It's super important for me to have good team communication skills and work well in groups. So learn how to delegate everything. Let go of a perfectionist mindset that everything has to be up to your standard because it's not like that in the professional world to begin with. And now that you're in college, here's a little secret. Grades really don't matter. It's more about recommendations and if you're going to a higher level university then you know if you want to get a fellowship it's more on your work quality you can always go back to a project and edit it later to your standard learn how to delegate stuff and don't kill yourself for a grade it's a lie guys it's a lie barbara from shark tank got straight D's in high school and she is a multi-millionaire. So grades really don't matter, your work ethic does. And my last tip for you guys, tip number six, is to really find balance. Once again, this goes back to taking breaks often, but studying and having a healthy routine and healthy lifestyle. I find myself in college personally where I find stretches of work that just seem never ending and insurmountable, <laughs> but I need to find myself again take a step back and find my reasoning for why I'm doing this in the first place and it's so important just to surround yourself with positive people show me your friends I'll tell you your future so find yourself a supportive group of friends last side note but finding a perfect balance between work and a play your emotional state of mind and your healthy physical body might take time and you will struggle and fail a little bit but failing taught me the greatest lessons. If you guys want more productivity related videos in college, let me know. I'm all about balancing multiple things at once. Like I said before, time management is my passion. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys.